Hi, I'm Black Wright, I'm broadcasting at the UK and I just wanted to show you a video I've received. Um, it happened, what are we today, we're the 16th of October, this happened on the 10th of October, where a young 21 year old, DeAndre Somerville, was um, missed his alarm and didn't show up for jury duty. As a result, he just woke up, went to work and didn't think anything more of it. A couple of days later, he's um, furnished with a bench warrant um, for his arrest for contempt of court. He's made to do 10 days in jail. He's given one year's probation. He's given a 223 US dollar fine. And he's given um, 150 hours community service. Now, that wouldn't be bad if they treated everyone the same. But the majority, there's 80% of people in America who do not show up for jury service and they reckon nothing happens. I'm going to put the link below. Nothing happens to them, right? And also, um, I think six people where something did happen, they were just furnished with a fine. So why would this young 21-year-old boy who's got no criminal convictions, has never had any trouble with the police, now have a criminal record for not showing up? And then the the judge is saying it's because they needed someone black on the um, jury to give it some perspective. The thing is, in extreme cases, they've, uh, fur they furnish a bench warrant for arrest. And what they mean by extreme cases is where a lot of the jurors don't turn up and they have to defer it for another day. This particular case was only deferred for 45 minutes. So I wouldn't call that an extreme case. And I think this is why people get their backs up. And there has been an outcry, and so rightly so, because if they treated everyone the same, it wouldn't be so bad. But like I said, 80% don't show up and nothing happens to them. And that boy, even though the judge is now, because of the outcry, the judge has expunged his um, criminal record, but his name is still going to be there. His fingerprints are still going to be on the system. His biometrics are still going to be on the system. And when police put, look, pull up criminals, he's still going to be there because whether it's expunged or not, it stays on the system. So, you know, it's a shame. Anyway, I'm going to show you the video so you can see what I'm talking about. So he had a young brother, 21 years old, that was supposed to be serving on the jury, but he overslept. And when he overslept, he came to court, he was charged with contempt of court. Yes, contempt of court. And he was given 10 days in the county jail. They, extremely harsh and ridiculous. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Today, DeAndre Somerville came to court on time. The 21-year-old apologizing to the judge after he says he overslept, missing his first day serving on a jury. Somerville, who had never been arrested, now has a criminal record for contempt and spent 10 days in jail with hardened criminals. I saw people get beaten. The judge today explained the punishment. The critic's charge was over the top. Mr. Somerville was the only African-American on our jury and represented a very important cross-section of our community. In addition to 10 days he's already served, Somerville was given a year probation, 150 hours community service, and a fine. I accept your apology. If Somerville now completes only 30 hours of community service and speaks to prospective jurors on the importance of jury duty, the judge says he will vacate his initial contempt order. Class over? Yeah, class is over. Somerville, who cares for his grandfather and works in an after-school program with kids, says he hopes he won't be judged for his one mistake. Now, the update on this particular story is the people were so upset, it was so much backlash that this particular judge had got rid of that contempt order on his record. So, basically, his record is clean again. But the judge shouldn't have did this in the first place. I mean, seriously. That, that's why it would make that young brother may not want to ever be a part of a jury again. Because he don't want to have that kind of experience. I mean, people make mistakes. I mean, man. I mean, come on. I mean, you won't respond that way just off of the first time. I mean, this young brother, like you say, he's, he's helping out at home. You know, he worked with kids. I mean, he seems like just a good brother to, you know, definitely be around and a good brother to support. You know, we have to support our young brothers out there that's doing the right thing, that's not getting in trouble, who's being uh, pillars in our community. 
Because you got a lot of older folks that don't even want to do certain things that this young brother is doing. But this situation, once again, just show how immediately when a black person do something, it's quick consequences. It's not, oh, well, is this excuse and that excuse. or It's never an excuse for black people. And one thing I'm glad about social media is that you guys are making a difference. Understand that. I believe that that judge would stick to his guns if no one said anything. So when people say social media... Do yeah, so anyway, I thought I would share that with you. And like I said, you know, it is, it is one rule for one and another rule for other. So you can say we've got a chip on our shoulder. You can say anything you like, but the evidence is there. And it's, don't take my word for it. I'm putting the links below. 80% of people do not show up and nothing happens to them. So why is it that one black boy doesn't show up and he's given not only um, a fine, but he's given probation, he's given community service and jail. All three. So, yeah... You know, it's not nice. It's not fair. And I'm glad it's been reduced. But like I said, his his name, whether it's expunged or not, will always be on the system. And he will, in effect, still have a criminal record. He might not show up, obviously, but it'll be there. Sleeping, waiting for him to do anything at all, slip up in any way, they'll have him. Anyway, um, that's all for now. Bye-bye. Yeah.